What's up guys, I've been getting a lot of requests to share some live roles on my channel, but instead I thought it'd be better to show you guys a competition match. So I'll be posting a few because I did the absolute division brown belt at Grappling Industries. So here's my first match against a game opponent. He starts by pulling guard, and I immediately try an X pass, and I end up in a back step position. He digs an underhook, and I stepped my left leg over to try to threaten Omoplata. My opponent is very good at leg locks, and I was aware of that. So right now he's trying to get underneath and get to some sort of leg entanglement. So rather than concede to the sweep, I bail. I try crossbody ankle pick. Now I do the fake guard pull to ankle pick, and I'm able to get my points. Now he's messing with my lapel, but if I'm being honest, I'm not so concerned with what he's doing with my lapel. My main concern with this opponent was to not let him get underneath me and to make sure he doesn't touch my legs. So here I have a good underhook. I'm trying to get my forehead to the mat, but my opponent does a really good job of keeping his head under my chin. Trying a traditional knee slide, not able to, so I pummel to mount rather than go across to side. Here you can see I'm playing a very, very high mount, and I have his elbows open because I know that one of my opponent's favorite escapes from the mount is to bring his legs in front of my hips. So I wanted to keep my center gravity as low as possible to avoid any sort of leg entanglement. At this point, I have a very, very tight Americana, and even an attempt at a wrist lock from the Americana, you can't see it in the camera, but my opponent's super tough, and I wasn't able to tap him. I don't know how. He had a grimace on his face. I was like, man, I'm getting close, but unfortunately, I couldn't get it, so props to him there. He gets his elbow back in. Rather than be stubborn and keep trying to search the submission, I know I'm up on points, so I pummel my right leg to knee on stomach. And simultaneously, I'm going to pummel my left knee up to his head so I can clear his elbow. So if you see, his right elbow is on my left knee, and I'm knee on belly. My toes are not on the mat. I like to keep my hook active. He gets his right elbow back, starts to bridge, and I go back to mount. At this point, he's grabbing his right foot to try to bring it in front of my hips, like I was saying earlier. And he's very dangerous when he does that. So I actually clear his right leg, keep a pant grip there and do a modified S mount. At this point he grabs his left leg and throws it back in front and rather than mess with it I actually get up and pummel my left leg in. He does a good job with the butterfly hook. He almost sweeps me but then I do like kind of an X pass motion to clear the legs. Just stay calm, don't panic and get back to the mount. And now I'm in a tight S mount and I go for the arm bar and he's able to hitchhiker. I come back up to north south one thing that you have to recognize is when you're not able to solidify a submission, the right time to bail. So I knew like right there, I could tell he was going to get his arm out. So I bailed out and I came up into a passing position. So now I'm back to knee on stomach with that right knee up by his head to clear that elbow. That's one of my favorite ways to hold somebody. Here I'm trying like a straight arm lock. I'm not able to get it. He gets his arm out. He brings that left leg back in front. And I know that's that's where he wants to be. So I stand. This time he solidifies a full single leg X. This tournament does allow reaping. So at one point his left leg is reaping across. I keep my foot flat on the floor, guys. Notice how my foot is flat on the floor. I do not want to let him engage in toe holds and knee bars. Right now I'm trying to peel the foot off my hip. And I do my back step and pummel into knee on belly. I actually have a video on that exact pass. Again, in that same knee on belly position where I also have his elbow pinned, moving back to mount. That's my favorite pinning position and my favorite way to, to get into mount. Now I pummel off to the other side. He's got a good underhook, but I have good shoulder pressure, keeping my pressure low, keeping heavy. Again, just not letting him get to where he wants to be. So now I bring my right hand to the outside of his hips just to make sure that he's not able to retain guard. I'll be honest, at this point, I wasn't too determined to get the submission. I felt that I was dominating the match, and I didn't want to risk much. Actually, I went for the armbar. I completely forgot about that. He gets out of this armbar, and now I remember. He comes up on this single leg. I'm able to pummel my right leg out. Oh, no, I didn't pummel my right leg out. He pulled guard. Okay, so he pulls into reverse daily heave with the lapel. And at this point, I felt threatened that he might be able to get underneath. Being that I was up on points, I sat back into single leg X. It's one of my favorite guards. I was able to sweep him with an overhead modified single leg X sweep. I have a video on that. And off of that sweep, I was able to get back to a 
position, a passing position where I have control. I think there's only five seconds left. At this point, the score was like 25 to 2. I knew I was going to win, so I wasn't going to risk anything in the last 10. So that was it. I ended up winning the match 25-2. And again, all respect to my opponent. He's really good. I know him. Well, I know of him. I've seen him put on a show at Fight to Win. I've seen him win some other good stuff. And again, I just I was very, very concerned about my legs. So when you go against a skilled leg locker, you can't make any mistakes because it could be the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want more videos like this, just uh, let me know in the comments, and thanks so much for watching.